So I decided to make this video for how I make my fried rice. A little bit different from what you may have seen before. And yeah, so first off, I already started. I melted butter. First of all, I melted like uh, a quarter of butter. Something like this. Yeah, so I just cut a little bit and I put it in the pot. And I now fry the onions together with the butter. Uh, so that's all I've done so far. Um, butter with onion. So I fried it until the onion became like transparent before I now put my rice. So this is freshly washed rice. This is not cooked yet at all. So part of the rice I already cooked to make like a white rice uh, because some of my kids they love different things. Some don't like the fried rice and they just prefer white rice and butter or stew, tomato stew. Uh, so this is freshly washed rice. So fresh. Freshly washed and dry, like I sieved it after washing it, just so all the water dries off. But I washed it until the water from the rice is totally like clear, and there is no dirt in the rice anymore. Yeah, so this is raw rice, 100% raw. So now I put it in the um oil, the butter, not oil, butter and onion fried um, butter and then I'm just putting the rice in here raw rice and then I'm frying it okay so I'm gonna turn this for say 15 minutes just so that the rice raw rice fries and incorporate very well with the butter and the onion and then what this does is that it helps the rice stay longer and doesn't go sour like we all know that fried rice goes sour after a while um, when you cook it the regular way but when you make it this way you can just leave it outside without even putting it in the fridge and it's still gonna be very good like really good for say three days without going bad for real guys try this recipe and I'm gonna regret it so now if you don't have butter for sure you can use vegetable oil but I love butter because we all know that butter gives really good flavor in baking and in cooking also so once I put my raw rice and I make sure I stir it and all the butter you see is kind of shiny now because all the butter have gotten right into it and I either use fresh oregano. I love to keep it real, fresh from the roots. <laughs> but for sure, if you don't have fresh, you can always use dry oregano um, and just put it in the in the rice. So I love to do this. Can you use dry oregano like this? I really love the the flavor that this brings to the fried rice like is amazing totally amazing I've not tried it before you try it so you can either put dry oregano spice as you're frying you can literally hear this rice pop and fry yeah it is frying raw rice frying so I'm just gonna mix a uh, the dry oregano and the fresh oregano. So I'm gonna put this fresh one right into this rice and then fry it. Guys, this makes all the difference. The flavor that this leaf oregano spice brings to this rice is a game changer to your rice for sure 100% and then so guys this is a game changer fried rice recipe that you're gonna love so much 
Okay, my daughter. She she loves it so much. <laughs> it is. I know you've been having fried rice. I know you all guys have had fried rice before. But try this fried rice. Like, this is fried rice or fried rice. <laughs> You will love this particular recipe, guys. You will. So you're gonna keep stirring this for 15 minutes. Like this, right? So the oregano and the butter and the onion should be incorporated. Say 15 minutes this is how it's gonna look like and you can just pour your water um, a chicken stock so this is like chicken stock got it from from So just got it from um, boiled chicken, but you can actually use like um, either chicken stock or you can use um, goat meat stock, whatever meat stock you like. I'm using chicken, so I think you can use the just pour the chicken stock in the rice, in the raw rice that you fried for 15 minutes. And then okay so um, after putting the chicken stock um, you can just stir and just stir for everything to combine and then you cover this to cook you can increase your cooker I like to put it pretty much low heat and not too high just so you can boil on time and then be well cooked instead of too strong yeah so there and then set it aside so while this is cooking I'll just Try to prep my veggies and get my veggies all ready. Here it is. Yeah, so all type of stir fried veggies. So I'll try to get them ready, cut all the sleeve and cut the bell peppers and all that. Yeah, no worries. My house is kind of a little bit. I did some baking last night. I did some donut, donut baking and the little, little buns, little buns little bread buns. <laughs> and also the muffin, muffin we four. Yesterday we made it today and it looks like yeah, a we made donut. a muffin today but we made the donuts. Looks like a huge donut. Right. Oh, we made the donuts and the little buns last yesterday night. Oh yeah, last night. I know we stayed up till 12. Right, that's my daughter. Me and I'm yeah. little. And this little muffin is really good. My these are like snacks for the kids. Starting tomorrow is Monday and back to school again. Oh, I love to make all the snack for them weekends. So each of my kids love the little one. The last one love muffins a lot, so I always make one of these. This is like banana muffin, really good. Had lots of fruits in there, yogurt. Then my daughter loves donuts. Oh my god, got a gla had to glaze the donuts in sugar. She loves sweets. I love so. donuts in the name of Lord. <laughs> so yeah, so that's how snack and the little buns. 
is for my other son. So it's crazy because each of the kids have what they like separate, so I have to make all the snacks for them. Because we have different tastes. They have different tastes. You had her. All right, so while I'm cooking boiling, I'm going to get the rest of the veggies ready, and now we'll be back. Thank you. 